Hi, this is Teacher Honey. Our lesson for today is about the search engine. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to use the advanced features of a search engine in finding information online and determine the appropriate search engine in gathering information. Did you know? that this image is what Google looked like way back 1998. Google is one of the most used search engine up until now. But what do you mean by search engine? A search engine is a powerful tool that is found on the web, basically a website that enables a computer user to search information and data effectively and efficiently. Features of a search engine A true search engine is an automated software program that moves around the web collection web pages to include in its catalog or database. Number 2 It searches when a user requests information from a search engine and not the entire web. Number 3 Each search engine has its own catalog or database of collected web pages. This is why you get different results or hits by using different search engines. Here are some examples of known search engines. Let's start with Google. Google is a search engine used to search for music, news, word, meaning, business, shopping, emails, sports, and mobile. Number 2. AOL. AOL is a website that delivers comprehensive web results with quick, easy to access, and relevant videos, pictures, local maps, news, stock codes, and more. Ask.com. It has a quick access to sports scores, movie times, weather, dictionary results, and translation in conversations. Yahoo! Yahoo is used for searching email, finance, news, style, shopping, property, movies, travel, messenger, mobile, and Flickr. MSN. MSN is used for searching for emails, store, outlook.com, Skype, maps, and news. And the last one, Bing. Bing focuses on four target areas, shopping, travel, local, and health. It is stated that Bing's underlying goal is to simplify the search, which it does by auto-suggesting you words as you start typing a search query. Bing aims to organize searches in a way that it is easy for users to navigate. Evaluating a website and its contents Here are some tips on evaluating a website and its contents. First, check out who the author of the content is. It is good if the author of the content is identified in the web page and there is information that establishes his or her credibility. Number 2. If the content is from an online publication, See if it looks like a professional publication and the contact details and about information are provided. Number 3. Evaluate the accuracy of the content. Read it well and see if it is free from grammatical or spelling errors. 
Number 4. Consider the objectivity of the content. It should present objective arguments and not biased opinions. Number 5. Look for the date of publication and check if the information is up to date. Please be familiarized with these tips as this might help you to avoid getting false or inaccurate information from the vast source of information displayed on different websites. And of course, it is thanks to search engines for helping us to search for information from the World Wide Web. That would be all for today class. This is Teacher Honey. Thank you for watching.